Hey there guys, welcome back to SnowRunner. I'm MJ Haggis and we're going to continue with the Azov and we're going to try and get around to the other side of the map. We're going to try to get ultimately back to the crossroads, this guy back in the garage. Hopefully we'll come across another garage en route, I think that's what happened. And we've got a watchtower, at least one to reach. I'll show you the map to be honest, it's probably the easiest. I've set two, two waypoints, one at the edge of that darkened area one at the watchtower, and I think we're going to get through to this watchtower. Eh, sorry, watchtower. This gateway is the, is the goal. Okay, so that's where we're at. Basically, haven't done anything since the last recording, so no prep work. And off we go. As soon as I can, we'll be looking to come back through and get the pike. We just need a little bit more in the way of repair points. Moving on in there. Nope. Just a little hazard, okay. Yeah, I'm still I'm still after getting the the pike. Okay, don't see anything of any significance. Stop go right. Okay, I'm not going to argue with that. That does not look like it's getting fixed anytime soon. Go on, Azov. Up you get. Look for the shallow part over here. I don't recall seeing that from the, the PTS server. Maybe we didn't go through that gateway. Maybe we did. Uh, I don't know. Things can change. My memory can fail. Lots of things can happen. Right, where are we going? 400 meters roughly. Hey, lots of, lots of beehives. Okay, one lovely looking watchtower that's close to the road. Is it going to reveal anything at all of any note to us? I think it could have taken a slightly better route into this, but never mind, it's the official way in, it would appear. There we go. What have we got? Oh, there's a task down there. That looks like a crossing of some sort. River trouble. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Aim to misbehave. Yeah, can do that, no problem. And it is a crossing. And oh, there's another loaf. Is it a loaf? It looks like a loaf. If it looks like a loaf, if it smells like a loaf, it's gonna be a loaf. I'm almost tempted to drive over there, but I think, yeah, or not. We've got to continue our journey. That looks like a dodgy little junction down there. And I'm not seeing anything else. Obviously that crossing to that watchtower could be where we need to get across there. But anyway, let's back it up. Off we go. Okay. Not seeing an awful lot from the road. I think there's still yeah, there's only two watchtowers on this this map. 
for a horrible person. Well, we'll make good progress. If the road stays like this... Oh. What's with the damage? There is nothing there. To dampen our spirits, the rain is on, of course. Hey. Oh, is this the fuel station coming up? Is this the wee town? I'm all confused because we're coming in from a different angle. Ah, yeah, we've got to drop a generator off there. That's right. Let's go into this um, task. What have we got here? Missing supplies. Okay, I'm going to accept that and track it just to get rid of the hot potato one. What was that? And it only delivered to the warehouse an abandoned trailer. Where's the abandoned trailer? Oh, it's so close. Can't attach to it, that's the only problem. We're going down there, and where's... Oh boy, where's the uh, gateway? Oh, I... Okay, gateway feels as if it's miles away now. But yeah, we had to drop a generator off there, and we needed fuel. This is not the town with the fuel. Okay, fair enough, let's just continue. Burn. I'm not seeing anything else up there. Some bits stick in my memory and other bits are like, I have absolutely no idea if I've been here or not before. There's a trailer. Yeah, we're not going to go in there too quickly. Another bridge to avoid. Be nice to get these fixed. However, that would just make it a little bit too easy. I think there's another bridge we've got to do something like that. In fact, is it up ahead? There. Oh. Maybe it's not even that far ahead. What's this? Okay. Keep left, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> That's no biggie. Oh, this was the, this was the garage I found when I was so badly damaged with the Land Rover Defender, and we crawled into here. Oh, that! Oh, that kind of changes things. I'm going to. We need to fix the pike, and we could go back from here and quickly go and do it. Um doesn't need fuel, it only needs service parts. And what was else? There was the the wee car on its side that was damaged. So definitely need to probably put something like that on it. 800 repair and it can get fuel. Let's purchase that. I'm tempted to bring out another truck for this. That's my only thinking, just to try something a little bit different again. Retain you. What have we got that we haven't used again for a wee while? That would also fit the service add-on Vorongrad. Again, another one that's very good. The Ank. I, I quite like having the Ank with the petrol or the fuel add-on because he's got such a bad fuel economy and only a 200 litre tank that Having that on it means he can go so much further and do so much more. So I'm going to leave him as is. Then we've got the Voron. See, there's another good petrol or fuel, <laughs> petrol, fuel 
truck. Maybe you'd want to have two out on different maps. Hmm, still got all the winter gear attached. The bandit. Yeah, another great one. Oh, we're going to need to do something of that nature again soon, I think. The warthog. The other ankh. Atra. Ugh. Oh, what to do? What to do? Maybe we'll just stick with the Azov. We'll give him a fair shout at this and we'll we'll change him in the future. Yeah. Oh, I need him. Out you come. Good boy. And leave. The way that the add-ons are matching the cab cover is because I've got the trailer add-on colour match thing. So it's it's quite nice. You don't feel like you've got a mismatched truck, cab and add-on. Oh, we get something in between there. Like a, a crane. Hmm, maybe. Okay, well that was good. Now we're fully healthy. Ooh. Special delivery, what was that? Right, before we go in further, let's look at the map. That's us there. Can't go any further down there. Ah, see, the, the gateway's disappeared because we, we're doing a job that doesn't require us to go through into the crossroads. That's where that's gone. Let's quickly get rid of that. And that. Oh, if we did... No, it's none of them. It is in here. Like hot potatoes and started tracking that. There's the gateway appeared. Still haven't figured out the uh, potato samples. I think what we'll do... Guys, I may do an edit and I'll bring you back once I've gone all the way back through to the Institute to go and get the pike and then I'll maybe... Yeah. And then we'll drive the pike back for this part and we'll continue with the pike and leave the Azov. Maybe we'll need more spare parts through in the Institute map. I don't know. We'll worry about that later. Let's go and get them because that was the initial uh, task. And then maybe on the way back we could reconfigure them back in this garage and go and do some more scouting about with the pike. That might be okay. Right, let's do it. I'll go for a drive and I'll bring you right back. Guys, I've brought you back. The step is just over this bridge again. But I'm down to 61 litres of fuel. That's a consideration you definitely have to think of if you're using this as of 5319. Kind of didn't expect it to use quite so much fuel because I knew exactly where it was going. Not getting sidetracked by any little tasks or trucks to go and fix it. It was just full throttle all the way through. We've got a little bit of damage on the suspension bouncing off things and little rocks on the road and stuff, but nothing uh, unexpected. It's just so thirsty. So, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Especially if I crash. 49 litres. If only there was a little scout fuel trailer here, that would have been so good. But there's not. One of the little tricks that another YouTuber has done um, was putting the loaf on top of the roof and using that. Oh, yeah, now we've got the loaf here, but did I fill him up with fuel? I might have to... I might have to borrow some back. I did give him 80. Oh, well, sorry about that. Okay, I don't feel so bad. Well, I feel bad for the loaf, but I don't feel so bad for us getting to the pike now. Oh. We've got plenty of repair points. Now I can get distracted. Let's fix this guy while we're passing him. It would have been rude to steal his fuel and not repair him, wouldn't it? 
Yeah. Hundred repair. We've got plenty. There he goes. I think that's a fair deal. It just doesn't look like he's been repaired. It's just food to the floor. I'll keep you with me. We're only going down the side of this hill, so there's no point in me doing another wee edit. Come on, Azov. Stop changing gear, just get it going. Yeah, I the it's only Mr. Lone Wolf is the other YouTuber and he quite regularly just puts a gets a crane out and puts a loaf on top of the roof and it packs up there so it's like having a backpack great little trick I haven't done that for a while actually it might be something I do again for those that haven't watched the whole lesbian okay I wouldn't be surprised if there's quite a few because there's a lot going a lot of recordings, over 340 odd, so I'll maybe do that little trick again soon. There's our step, yes, don't got to get him back, it's easier said than done. Right, actually stop the engine, save what fuel we have got, and body to the pike, yeah, and he's ours. Oh, he says, a gift horse. Congratulations on your very own personal <laughs> personal rust heap. Yeah, okay, thanks. Just uh, take good care of him, all right? Okay, we will. We can close that up. He's ours, so let's... I think we'll probably be getting this bridge open sooner rather than later, so I might just park this guy down there. But at least off the road. then we'll jump back into the pike. I just need to remember that this guy's not got an awful lot of fuel. That'll do. And brake on and the engine off. Let's go. Let's find our new toy. He's broken. He's not broken. He's in pristine condition. Doesn't quite look it yet. Okay. Again, like hot potatoes has appeared, so we're going to get rid of that. Stop tracking you. Not too sure exactly what we're going to jump to next, but I think it'll be something like missing workers is a good starter, if my memory serves me well, because it starts to open up more of the ones towards the garage, which is a set of 11 contracts you need to do. So where are we just now? Move to player. Move to player. There we go. So from here, we need to get back to our garage yet again. Harvest Corp doesn't have one available. So I think pretty much I'll bring you for a wee drive just to get over this little section here to where the loaf is. And then I'll do another edit. Yeah, we've got time. I'll do another edit and I'll bring you back if there's any problems, like me getting stuck, because this guy doesn't have the off-road tires, so if I get stuck or anything, I'll bring you back. But otherwise, I'll probably jump again through into the Heartlands, or we could carry straight on and go into the crossroads that way. Whichever one's got the closest garage, we'll be heading for. So... Oh, night time setting in. Oh, look at that. Horrible. He's only got automatic and low ratio. Definitely need to get this guy back. It's a shame when you fix him up to 100%, he doesn't suddenly look like he's just come out the, the, the garage. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's getting a bit darker. Maybe we have to let this guy sleep, ready for his next drive. So we'll do that. <clears throat> Excuse 
excuse me. Maybe it'd be... We'll do the dawn very soon. We'll get that, maybe the service, the Azov, and we'll go and fix the dawn as well. It'd be a shame to leave the dawn there damaged. I feel lost without having all the gears. How's our headlights doing? Oh yeah, we'll leave them on for a wee bit, just so we can see a bit better. Uh, missing workers, it says visit the northern tunnel. That's obviously in the cross. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. I was going to say, there's a wee road going on the side there, but why bother we can just do this shortcut? Yeah, brings you back to that lot. Okay, first big hurdle is getting across this river. How is the step pike going to handle it? Okay, let's do it. Looking for trees to winch to if I need to. It's doing really well so far. Oh, it just floats across the water, almost. Go on. If I wasn't in such a rush to get back to the garage, I would pull the loaf up the hill a little bit further. I don't exactly know what the loaf is part of the contract wise or task but he needs to go back the other way so again maybe I'll, even him there's a wise thing to do I mean this even without mud tires this guy is just not having a problem I'm pleased to say we've not tweaked him, nerfed him effectively from the PTS server to this ay 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 ok got to kind of skirt around the edge of this and get over that tree oh ok didn't want to despawn Oh, tree! Go on, get over. Nothing's stopping you. So there is that service trailer I've kind of dumped up the back of there. So at some point we'll get that out. <coughs> Excuse me guys, sorry, my cold is still here. My voice is fading a little bit. Plus I was up at 4am this morning, so I'm not surprised. Everything's giving up at this stage of the game. Um, where are we going? Straight across, kinda. Ooh. Okay, we, have, we don't have a snorkel. We're gonna have to be very careful. I don't think this is that deep. filter is there on the bonnet, or just to the side of the bonnet, or hood here in America. It is quite low. Okay, yep, yeah, that's good. 
That's very good. Well done, Pike. First impressions, guys, if you haven't seen them before, do you like? I do. I never really used the 310E before until somebody says, oh, please use it in one of your videos. I'm like, oh, okay, fair enough. Because it can't fit the, the mud tires. And I thought, ah, oh, it's not going to be particularly big. It's a bit similar to the Kodiak, but he's got like a, a third axle. But he did so well. He, hold on, I want to go that way, don't I? Let me look at the map before I get lost. Yes. If we carry on that, we're just heading down to the other gateway. We want to, we want to cut left there. I mean, you wouldn't probably want to give him some really, some of the major heavy work. But for other little light, light stuff, this is, this is the guy. Or both of the steps, I should say. Okay, this could be a slightly bigger issue. We'll definitely be getting beached across the pipe. Question is, how far over can we get before? Nope, can't even climb over the first bit. This. forwards, release the winch is what I'm after. Awesome job. <clears throat> I don't think there's much more of any major note to getting back to the garage, so I may just to save a bit of time, unless you're particularly wanting to see the drive again. There's our trailer on its side and to rescue that excuse me I wouldn't say it's a race horse considering the gearbox in him but I'm still going to be putting this, the snow runner gearbox in him Rain to hold. What's one of the other good things? Because he's so light, using uh, bushes and stuff as winch points still works. Except when they don't despawn, it's a bit of a pain. at the gateway. Again. We need to get a fuel trailer out. Probably be good to get another... Is there another trailer store that we can use? I'm not sure, I can't remember. Okay, again, let's look at this. That was quite a drive actually around to the garage. So I think what I'll do, as I did before, is I'll drive us round the garage just because it's getting on for about half an hour of, of recording time already. Actually, a lot more with edits, it'll be about half an hour. So I'll bring you back if anything happens like getting stuck through this uh, marshy bit of the bridge but otherwise it's road all the way so I'll see you back at the garage hopefully and here we are back at the garage the guy did awesome 
Did have to use the winch to go in through a little bit of the muddy sections, but all good. So, before and after. That's better. Classic lines, nice and rounded. But anyway, the main thing is to get and back to the guys to show you the add-ons and stuff because really I haven't seen it because it was it was kind of removed in the PTS at some point. So I'm just going to max them out as I kind of would, although I've only got 99,000 cash. We need to do something about that. Get rid of that. Gearbox, yes. Get rid of that. Raised. It doesn't come up massively, but it's all going to help. Tires. Oh, it was all trains that were on it. I beg your pardon. I thought it was highways. They didn't look as if they had much tread in them. We do have those available, but we're going to immediately sell them for money. And we're going to get rid of those as well. I'm going to go for the 43s and those ones. It'd be nice to see them from a different angle, but we'll sell the old trains. Oh, that's good. That gets a bit of money back. Advanced medium. That's awfully expensive at the moment. Maybe we'll just go for the extended. Spare wheel. I'm not sure about that. Again, they look like Voron wheels. Tires, I should say. Snorkel. We do need to get rid of that for that one. Sell that one. And that's not even the highest. That's already came with one. By me. And the thing I wanted to see here was the back part. Where is it now? I don't tell me. That it doesn't look like this guy comes with a load bed. He doesn't. Maybe that's why I couldn't get it to work. He does not get a load bed, but he won't get trunk roof. Fair supplies on the roof. Okay, well that answers that question. I'm not sure what we'll be using this guy for then. Fuel tank? Hmm. I don't know. I'd need to remove the snorkel for that to fit. That's a temptation because it's not overly heavy. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. That's what he's got for the main parts. Front side, we'll probably put a wee... I'm not a fan of the visors, because if you are driving from inside the cab, it kind of obscures your view a little bit. Rooftop can be forgotten about, because we've got the roof rack. Front bumper. Angled. As long as it doesn't lower it, I'm okay. See, stock's actually not bad at all. It's probably the highest of the lot. It's not the nicest to look at, is it? Maybe we'll just stay with the angled. Beacons, horns, horns, exhaust. We've got stock, which is probably somewhere underneath. We'll go for that one, funnel one. The rims, well, I prefer those. Colors-wise, what you've got? That's the custom one. That's some sort of a stallion. Bird of prey, condor, eagle. Not bad if you like that. I'm not a huge fan of these fancy custom paint jobs unless it's looking immaculate on a show vehicle. We'll probably just leave them on the blue. Well, you do have the multicolors. There's a few other options there. Maybe the orange and black. I quite like orange and black. There we go. And then usual interior stuff for you to mess around with. That looks a lot better. Okay, I'll retain him. I need to figure out what load bed we're going to put in the back for the next job, if he's available to do a job. But that is about us. So I'll leave it here and we will continue probably through from this 
garage into the crossroads again and get stuck back into some of those contracts. Uh, that's probably the best thing to do. I don't think there's much left for us to do global noise. Yeah, we've opened them all up. Garage not discovered is the one you've got 11 tasks for. Reach that one. That one doesn't have one, and we're good with that one. Excellent. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It is greatly appreciated, and you'll see me again soon. Bye for now.